hey boys good morning welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna try and rebuild and make the dashboard nice again because it's really bad let me show you real quick trim piece is missing no radio no dash basil um, a cluster that doesn't have the mileage I think this is a common OBS problem and a big crack so I'm gonna start by removing the cluster see what I can do about this crack and uh, then uh, clean paint a new dash basil basil whatever you want to call it a new trim piece so let's start by repairing the dash it's a seven millimeter bolt and uh, slide out come on now Help me understand what is going on over here. Okay, that's one. And that's two. That's three. This is a big crack. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Let me figure something out. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how it turned out to be. The first piece repaired. I'm um, just holding for structural structure repair. Then I'm gonna epoxy it so it look like one piece. Okay, let's try it. Okay, boys, we're gonna try some good old-fashioned crazy glue, and then maybe some plastic epoxy. So let's start with this one. I stick the epoxy down there on a cardboard. See how it's coming through. Pretty good. Remember guys, I'm just experimenting here. Um, I have a spare dashboard if it's needed. But I don't want to go through the hassle of changing it. So, I'm going to do the best I can over here. Okay, let's hold it for 4 minutes. I'll be right back in 4 minutes. Here's my epoxy job drying out. Come on, focus. There you go. This is holding underneath with a cardboard and epoxy. Still gotta do the rest, but gotta go in steps because it's a big crack. Remember guys, I have a spare dashboard, but I don't want to go through the hassle of changing it. I am not good with that thing. So I'm gonna try and fix this the best I can. I have a new dash basil, I have new trim pieces, so it's not bad. Let's see what we can do. Okay boys, what I'm doing is, I'm trying to fit this AC up here. But first, I'm gonna test fit the dash pad. See where I want it. Over here seems good, like this. I'm framing of this piece, the plastic behind it. The plastic behind it, so it's fitting pretty good. Doesn't have a big gap anymore. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, boys. I'm liking it. Honestly, I want a phone to control everything. I wanted to use the torque app or the music, but it's a hassle. So I'm gonna use a dedicated old phone for the torque app. It's gonna stay stay up here, and my phone, my other phone, is just gonna go on a holder or somewhere or in my hand or in the cup holder for USB to the radio. Um, this came out pretty decent. Everything works. Everything works. And now, I'm gonna try and fit something up in here. Let's check this out. I started like this. I got my phone, my Arctic app, and not bad, right? Not bad. I even tried it like this. The weight to start light fits in here, kind of perfect. And I wanted to put it something like this. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. But it's a pretty far away and um, you don't get the complete phone in there. It's not that bad, but it's kind of narrow for the, for the display. And if you use it like this, you're gonna get two big gaps on each side. 
So, I grabbed my spare dash basil. I removed this piece. This was the way to start light and a blank piece. And check this out. Check this out. <laughs> it's kind of a perfect fit, man. There you go. It's a perfect fit in the dash bezel. It's a perfect fit, man. You got a peek from behind. And the phone fits perfect. It's like it's meant to be. So I'm gonna adapt this bracket, use the original mounting holes for the way to start light, adapt this bracket with a bunch of rubber insulation or something so it can hold the phone in place. Okay, that's the next mod. Let's go. Next day. Here we are guys in the truck. It's almost done. I'm messing with the trim pieces. The tabs are broken, so I'm fixing all of these. And I originally originally planned for this to go in the middle, but it has a big bulk over here and doesn't work. So I'm gonna figure out something there in the future. Uh, maybe a gauge, one more gauge, a switch, we never know. The AC thing I moved there. And this, this is the party piece. Focus, you grab your phone, unlock it. Slide it in. And uh, wait for it. Go to your app. There you go. No, thank you. We have torque app in my dash bezel so this is almost the finished product of the dashboard i'm gonna reuse this switch for the fog lights because it's just a switch on the tank to select the front and the back tank and i don't have a front tank anymore i'm gonna fix these tabs fix this tab put the trim pieces back on that trim piece came out nice i'm gonna put a highlight over there but tell me what you guys think. Is it good? Do you like it? This is the POV view right here. Not bad, right? Love it. I love it. This is a fuel pressure gauge that I'm um, um, just ordered the sander. The sander is on the way. Make that work so we can keep an eye on the fuel pressure because we have an e-fuel system that's gonna be for another video.
thank you so much guys if you like my channel please subscribe and like my videos i will appreciate it so 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 much stay tuned because on the next episode i'm gonna do the sound system up in here and uh, finish up the trim pieces so this dashboard will be nice take care be safe